Oh hi guys and welcome to another vlog from Timmy Timers. Um, this is Timmy Timers Cancer and uh, it's actually called Reaching Out. And the reason I'm reaching out is to find answers. Um, find answers to long term side effects from chemo radiotherapy after having been diagnosed with um, sinus cancer. And what it is, is it's now coming up to 11 months since I started my treatment and I finished my treatment about six months ago. Um, so you, you'd be thinking maybe things are starting to improve and things are changing. And that is the case. Things have changed, but they're still changing. And I think they're going to continue to change. Um, I've been looking at different forums and um, I spoke to Midland Cancer Support this morning and they mentioned about different organisations called Go or Get Ahead, um, Cancer Chat and Midland Head and Neck Forum and I've been looking online and, and it, it is really quite complicated but I want to throw this out to the guys and the girls obviously um, who've gone through this um, put it on YouTube as, as a cancer vlog because it would be nice for me to get some sort of feedback from you guys that have gone through this um, I'm not sure where the camera's pointing here <laughs> sorry I've got a I've got a new present for birthday it's uh, my 60th coming up very soon and um, I've got a new camera so I'm trying to use it for vlogging rather than the GoPro and I'm just trying to work out obviously where the, the camera is sitting obviously it's sitting here so I've got to look into this rather than look over at myself on the, on the camera um, but if you think excuse me while I'm trying this out because it's a, it's a new phone I only got it this morning and um, I want to see what the quality is like on YouTube as well um, hopefully to use this rather than a notepad um, it seems to be more updated and the software is a lot more, a lot more better. Apparently, it's got one of the best cameras in the world. I reckon better than an iPhone. Well, you never know. But um, but yeah, guys, I want to sort of reach out to to people who have who've gone through the um, chemo radiotherapy and and more so with people who've gone through sinus cancer. Well, I've got a colleague or a very 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 good friend who's going through neck um, throat cancer and. You have to look at yourself and think, I was lucky I didn't stop feeding, even though I was drinking liquids and soups. A friend of mine, he, he couldn't even take liquids, even water, he, he was bringing it up. Um, so you've got to count your blessings and think how lucky you are not to have those symptoms. But the symptoms don't stop after the, after the treatment. Um, and it's a little bit frustrating when you get to that ripe age of nearly 60, you think to yourself, is it because I'm 60 <laughs> that things, things all seem to be going a little bit tits up? Or is it a case of um, it's just bad weather, it's winter time? Or is it a case of it's it's the symptoms from the chemoradiotherapy and it's still working within within the sinus area and, and, and that head and neck area in general? Um, lymph nodes obviously completely dry still I do get a, a little bit of saliva I don't get so much um, phlegm um, I have been nasal douching um, recommended by the, the doctor um, a, a few few months ago um, but that doesn't seem to help and I do get a lot of blocked sinuses um, and you think to yourself is it because the sinuses are shrinking is it because Chemo radiotherapy has caused some damage there and, and sort of destroyed what's in there and whatever is in there, if, if there's anything in there at all, <laughs> you know. But um, you've got to think to yourself, is this just part of what you've got to go through or is it something else? And once you've had cancer, you do you do get concerned and you do worry about things. The slightest symptom you think, oh, is it back again? You know, um, but I've had some really good results and I'll put the results up on screen there and uh, you can see the results what, what, what come in a, a few months ago. Um, I won't have another check for oh, another four or five weeks. Um, 
another camera up the nose and down the throat and um, but the results have been really good so I, I'm not that worried but again you, you do worry because it's all in the area um, problems with your hearing as well you start to get like noises in your ear you think am I going to go deaf yet because you're told it's a 90% chance you'll go deaf within five years but I've been told it's a gradual thing um, so I've still got a bit of, bit of time to do some sign languages but what sort of signs we don't know but um, if I had to then yeah it was something I would, I would consider um, because any sort of sign language you really can't do that you can't do it on YouTube but any sort of sign language um, you could put out there would be would be good because it, again it's a again, communication isn't it and again I want to communicate with you guys because um, you guys have, have gone through this this similar sort of symptoms um, a similar sort of scenario um, I had gem carbo um, chemotherapy and I had the uh, radiotherapy on well, the whole head um, as you can see by the pictures I've put up on the screen there um, but um, it's finding out I mean all know like we're all different we all had different treatment we all have different side effects but it's nice to share that guys it's nice for me to share it with you and that's why I started the vlog um, on Timmy Timers um, with the cancer um, running alongside um, the Bilby doing the Philippines but this is just the cancer vlog and I want to do it as a reaching out video to you guys to say if you've got any feedback you can help you or advice or or links or or some sort of forum I can contact because there must be somebody out there who is going through a similar sort of scenario you know um, do it keep getting colds I mean and I've been told the radiotherapy does destroy the, the sinuses um, makes them more narrow so any little cold is going to feel like a really bad cold but sorry to chat through this video guys and I, and I really hope um, someone out there can can contact me to say look yes Tim I've been through that I've had that and it's nothing to worry about but this is what you can do or this is what you can't do or it, it's nice to share the experience and um, I've got to look at that camera because I'm looking at the picture and the camera's over there um, <laughs> Sorry, yeah. new phone teething problems but um please yeah you know, get in contact um via youtube because i'd love to hear from people that have been through a similar sort of experience and uh i've heard as people even go five six years and sometimes it's even longer than that long term having symptoms and not getting their taste buds back i've had taste buds back and i've lost it again and it's the simple things in life you want to do, which you can't do anymore. That's really frustrating. You know, um, with a dryness or a mouth and the ulcers still occasionally get ulcers. So these things are, are, are difficult, but I'm sure I'm not the only person out there that's going through this. So guys, girls, get in contact, please. And uh, if you've got anything out there to share out there, then please share it. I'll be more than grateful to, to hear from you guys. So please, if you can like and subscribe to the channel i'm not after subscribers i'm just after information and it's nice to get the feedback so don't forget it's, it's timmy timers with a capital t um get in contact guys and maybe we can all help each other out it's it's a pretty sad world at the moment with so many things going on but maybe we can all help each other and to understand what this cancer does and how it affects us even long term all right guys listen stay safe out there hands face space we haven't got to do it now have we but get in contact guys please and uh i hope to hear from you soon take care bye bye